Hi everybody, today I'm going to review the uh, Queasy Max toaster. And um, I will say that it came out banged with a banged box and uh, it probably got uh, a lot of abuse while shipping. So I won't uh, fault the stuff that uh, came broken to the manufacturer, but maybe I do because uh, they should probably package it, package it better. But there are some defects that I'd like to point out. If you can notice right here, notice this. This should actually be like tucked inside. Let me show you the other side. See how the other side is? That's how it should be on both sides. And while this was manufactured, they just didn't put it right. So that was a problem. Another thing that I've noticed is that unless you turn it off, it always draws about two watts. There's an on off button here. And Whoa, <laughs> this is crazy. Even if it's, I didn't notice that. Even when it's off, like supposedly off, it still draws two watts. Crazy. Wow, I didn't realize that. All right, now, why did I choose this toaster? Well, the reason was because it had the clear uh, window from both sides. I think it's kind of a cool design. And it also had a motorized up and down mechanism. So let's toast and demonstrate that. I'll put it in the middle. Turn it on, like, uh, start. Notice that uh, it only starts after it reaches all the way to the bottom. And when it's operating, it's drawing 1134 watts. The only minus, the other minus that I've noticed is that when it goes up, sometimes it gets hung on these sides. Doesn't happen all the time, but it happens from time to time. And what happens, it, it reaches it, it gets stuck here. It lowers the toast back down and then brings it again up. So let's wait to see how it toasts. And this one uses the quartz heating elements and it has two on each side of the toaster. Let me show you, make it close up. See those elements there? Both sides. Now when it's done, it's gonna beep. I actually like the beep. A lot of people have said they don't like the beep. It would have been nice if they had an option to turn off the beep at the end because you know, sometimes you make a toast at night, people are sleeping, you don't want them to wake up because you're making toast. But um, I would rather have one that has the beep than none. Now, the reason I'm uh, doing these tests with uh, the highest setting is to one, to see how toasted it, the bread is when it's at the maximum. So, cause you can always choose less, uh, less of a setting to your liking, but uh, if you put it at the max and it's not toasted enough, that, that means you have to run it twice. And that's not something that I'm, that I'm looking to have in my kitchen. And let me show you how it looks like if you're watching it from the bottom. It's pretty cool. Like right now, I think this is where, this is the doneness that I would like. Oh, and it just stopped. So, so yeah, this is, I think, the doneness that I would like on my toast. And... It's not super uniform, if I can show you here. It's more toasted on the bottom, and there's a little area here that's not as toasted. And same here, but this is nice. I like it. This is about what I like for my toast. So this is what you can expect from this toaster at the setting seven. Now, what do I think about the mechanism? Is this going to last? That's quite the bet. I, I'm thinking there, there's two ways to think about it. One way, it's less mechanized. 
So, so there's less of a chance for you actually breaking it by being too forceful with the, and, and when it jumps, it jumps kind of violently, the ones with the lever. This one is more gentle when it goes up and down. And um, I don't know. It's uh, only time will tell if it's uh, as durable as the ones that uh, click in place and then bounce back. But it's nice that it comes really slowly and doesn't jump out. So in general, I do like this toaster. But again, as with other toasters, they for some reason decided to put the cable in the front. So if you wanted to keep the toaster like this, the cable will be an issue. But in this case, you don't have a lever. You can still put it like this and it should be, it should still be doable to just reach and press the start button. But again, this thing is drawing almost two watts all the time, regardless of it, if this on and off button is on. Very bizarre. Now, as far as the sides, this area is quite hot to the touch. I cannot keep my hands on it, so it is hot. Yeah, both sides are very hot to the touch. So if you have kids, that's something to be aware of. The top is very hot and there is a symbol here that to be careful. Sides are hot too. So overall, I like this toaster. I think it's very nice looking. I like the mechanism, the automatic mechanism that goes up and down. I like the level of toast that it produces after it's done on the maximum setting. And also it has a, uh, you know, a window that you can see through and you can stop the toast if you want it. And also in this area, it has a tray. Let me show you the tray. As a tray here to collect the crumbs. So it's a fully featured toaster. And uh, I don't know. And by the way, you can, re this is a dual wall window. So you can remove the inner walls for cleanup. And in fact, that's what was broken when I got it. Uh, you see the clips here got, is, is broken. That, this is how it should look like. This one is completely broken. It doesn't even have the clip. I might keep this, I will say. I might keep it, just, even though it, uh, it draws this two watts for no reason. I might just keep it because it, it looks nice. I like the way it toasts. I like the automatic mechanism and I like the beep. And I also like that it's easy to clean. And I also like that the fact that you can see through and see how well the toast is done while it's baking or toasting. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment box below. Please, please, thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.